I just gotta be real about this. Girlfriend Girlfriend is actually low-key fire, and I am happy that it's getting a season two, although I am quite surprised it's getting a season two because, well, I didn't think it was really popular enough to get one, but to my surprise, it's getting a second season, and I am completely happy with it because, well, if something like Rent-A-Mid can get, like, three seasons, then I think Girlfriend Girlfriend definitely deserves a second season at the very least, and Girlfriend Girlfriend is, uh, way better than rent mid will ever be. I will say say that I've only watched like five episodes of Girlfriend Girlfriend, but I have read the manga. I'm not completely caught up with it, but I've read quite a bit of it. And I thoroughly enjoy the manga. Now, I think I gave it like a six or seven, so it's not like no 10 out of 10, but I will say that it's absolutely an enjoyable read and the reason why i couldn't really bring myself to finish the anime one i was not really keeping up with it weekly i wasn't really somebody who was big into watching anime weekly and two it is so cringy so trashy so good of an adaptation that it is hard to watch and i know that's kind of weird to say it's like oh well you couldn't even really watch it why would you think it's actually good but that's the thing about it it's so freaking bad it's actually good but voice acting in the anime one is top freaking tier really brings out how like ridiculous this anime actually is they do absolute justice with the characters and might i say a little too good because you can feel the impact of like the cringiness of this show of the absolute stupidity especially with the main character Noya. i don't really know who voices him sorry about it, i don't really know the voice actor but i just have to commend you because you did such a good job portraying this character to be the absolute dunce that he is where it's just painful to watch and one of the big reasons why i would say that girlfriend girlfriend is personally way better than rentamid is the characters Noya, i'm not saying is like the best mc ever he's not like oh he's my guy, bro. I absolutely love this dude. No, he's stupid as hell. He's cringy as hell. At least he gets the girls. You know what I mean? At least he's open about it and he accepts the harem. The man is somewhat of a Chad. A little bit stupid, but yeah, somewhat of a Chad. And honestly, the best girls I would definitely say is Nagisa and Shino. God, those are my girls. Now, honestly, Saki, I'm not really the biggest fan of her. I'm glad that she's in the anime. I'm not like, she shouldn't be in the series at all i hate her with a passion but i will say that she's arguably worst girl next to rika which i might get a lot of hate for that but she's just something else man and like i'm not saying that saki and rika are necessarily trash tier girls but they're certainly nowhere near good as nagisa and shino and nagisa like she is such a good girl man she is best girl i just absolutely loved her backstory she went from somebody who was pretty bad at everything like cooking, studying, athletics, and she really loved the MC Noya so much that she wanted to better herself, and that's why, you know, she's as amazing person as she is today, because she worked hard, she didn't give up, and wanted to be the best girlfriend that she could be, and that is so god dang respectable. Now, I'm not saying that you have to like this series, but, I mean, can you not give her a little bit of credit for that? I mean, how many girls in anime really try that hard to be best girl? If you don't like this anime, at least show a little bit of love and respect on Nagisa. And like the entire time that I was really reading the manga, I kind of forgot how garbage in a sense this series is because I was just having a good old time. I was a good freaking read. Whereas the anime just makes you cringe every freaking five seconds of how ridiculous it is. Now I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing and I really like how it embraces like how ridiculous it is. It's not trying to hide it whatsoever. Yeah, we know this uh, anime is goofy as hell and um, yeah, we're really going to uh, bring that out. Definitely not in like my top 10 favorite anime of all time. I just wanted to say that even though it is so stupid, so ridiculously freaking bad that it is somehow good. So yeah, what do you all think of Girlfriend Girlfriend? I'm sure most of y'all would agree that it is quite the trashy show, but I really hope that if you were like, nah man, this is not it, bro. I hate this series so much. At least give the manga a try. I can't really say too much about how good the anime necessarily is because I only watched like five episodes because I wasn't really super into watching anime weekly, but either way, I would say that the manga is definitely worth the read or at least worth the try. Hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did, I would really appreciate if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like and consider subscribing. I hope you all have a fantastic day, night, evening, morning, whatever hell time it is for you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.